Today is World Book Day and to mark the occasion 300 school children from North County Dublin were brought on a very special storytelling expedition. The trip was led by Laureate Nanog Own Colfer. From the railway children to platform nine and three quarters, steam trains have always had a very special place in children's literature. <laughs> to celebrate World Book Day, Laureate Nanog Owen Colfer led 300 school children on a journey along the North Dublin coast. My dad used to tell my son stories and he would sit him on his knee and just tell him a story and you could see my son's eyes misting over. And that is a magical moment and I'm trying to recreate that moment for all the kids on this train because for me that's what started me reading books. The trip was organised by Children's Books Ireland, Irish Rail, the Railway Preservation Society and Fingal County Libraries. There couldn't be in a more appropriate way really I suppose to enthuse children about reading and at the same time take in the landscape that they're travelling through. I can put this on and use it as a magical football boot. He gets the shoe. Storytellers on board entertained the children and they all got to experience the magic of a real steam train. It basically uses the principles of a kettle to superheat the water what's that, and then that creates pressure and steam and then that gets the steam train to go and it's just, there's just something about the steam train that just captivates you know, the inner child in you. So what books are children reading these days? It's War, The Reluctant Assassin and I got a song by Owen Crawford. Sheila Agnew and Jacqueline Wilson. I like The Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. My favourite books would be Rolled Off and Lemony Snicket. I love their books, they're amazing. So despite warnings to the contrary, it looks like books, just like steam trains, still have plenty of fans. Sinead Crowley, RTE News.